Greetings, everybody. Greetings, wholeness to you all. Greetings of goodness, grace, and wonder <laughs> to you all. It's so an honor and a pleasure to be here to talk about our favorite topic, which is herbs. Natural healing, Caribbean healing. I'm so excited. At this time, I'm going to add some friends. I'm going to add some friends to our talk because we want to talk about some good stuff. We got some good things to talk about today. Let me tag Makita, Herbalist Makita, and Herbalist Tamal. All right, let me tag them. All right. Awesome. So they should be coming on in just a little while. We're always do here. I'm always so grateful. I'm always so grateful to, to be a part of this, this learning and this healing village. Give me one second, family. Let me so we can connect in this way. Because one of the things I'm super grateful for is the ability to connect with so many people from around the world on so many different things. And the internet allows us to do that. So as we are getting them online, we are going to get started in just a little while. And I hope y'all have some herbal questions for us because our herbalists here at Soul Tribe Heals are, are the best. They're top notch. Um, not only are they aware of the plants and their functions and what they do, they can also help you to get to some of the emotional causes of the things that go on in the body. So it looks like there's Temo here. Let's see. Let's get Hunter in on the line. Let's see. Let me invite you, Hunter. All right. Let's see. Hunter, can you get on? All right, I'm inviting you, beloved, so you can come online and to join us. Let's see. Or, Hunter, on your phone, it may say, um, click to join broadcast. It may say something like that. It's a little green box, depending on your device. Hit that and send me a request, because I don't see here where I can add you. And if anyone knows how I could add someone for, to this live, let me know. Facebook seems to change all the time, all the time. Um, so let me see who's here so we can get, and if you want to join this live and talk about these things, definitely, 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 um, send a request to join this live. All right, Hunter, let me know if you can get, get me online. Let's see. As Makita, she'll be here shortly as well. Some of the herbs we want to talk about are the ones that we carry, and we want to talk about the benefits of them because now we're in a time where we really need to return back to our ways we really so it looks like hunter is coming and so i'm really 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 excited about that and makita once you get us online you can join us as well awesome hey, hey, blessings. Blessings. <laughs> hey yeah, yeah. blessings uh oh blessings. it's really 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 doing? low on my phone i can't really hear you hold on one second Hey, greetings. I can hear you, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? I, yeah, I can hear you good too. Greetings. How you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm doing great, yeah, yeah. Just chilling. Yeah. Just relaxing, taking the cool breeze. Yeah, me too, me too. So, Hunter, you're in um, you're in Spanish Town, huh? Spanish Town, Jamaica? Yeah, same catching. Good. How's the weather? The well, weather is okay so far. Kind of overcast. We have a little bit oh. overcast right now. Okay, okay. That's good, because here in Mexico, it, it's nice. It's a little warm today, but it's nice. It feels yeah, good. But, yeah, but moreover, you know, from the past two months, you know, the climate changed because uh, all these oil what joined from the earth. So you know that nature kind of changed. Right. Yeah, the time uh, certain things change. Right, right. It is a time for change. What the weather, what breeze, rain. If you notice now, time hot. I want to reach summer yet. Right, right. So we have a global warming changes. Oh, you said you're talking about the global warming? Yeah. You know, through the, the recent war with Ukraine and... Mm. 
Russia, you know, because remember them dry, them dry oil from the earth, you know. That's true. And that effect. So it's just be all right. It's just be like, it would be just be like this now. You're not taking enough energy to energize back your body. Right. So that would be the fear. Right, right, yeah, right. So them taking a lot from the earth, but not putting back. But not putting it back, right. No, so you know that cause a whole heap of changes. Right. Both with herb, both with we human, both with the bird, everything. We might not see it now, but who can see it, I can see it, who can Right, not right. Mm. Wow, well, you know, guy. Yeah, you hear him. You know, um, I was thinking a little bit about, you know, the herbs and the plants this morning. And like we, 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 we take them for granted in so many ways. We say, okay, this is a weed or this is just this and this is this, that. And it, it really amazes me because if you could tilt your camera down a little bit more, Hunter, I can't really see your face. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Um, because, you know, here I see a lot of people suffering with diabetes and issues of blood sugar. While there's lots of fruits and vegetables and stuff around here and herbs that could easily kind of fix it, right? It's like the people right. that we've lost a part of a consciousness. I see mango, I see papaya, I see sourasap, which I want to talk about today. Um, and those herbs are here to help the people where the people live. But these are the same things they're not taking. And so I see a lot of people who are sick, a lot of amputees, you know, the legs getting cut off because of the blood sugar issues. And issues, um, yeah. yeah, it feels like there's a time when the universe is pulling us back to that knowledge because we really need our plants and our herbs for our livelihood. They're just not, it's not a, just a, it's not just a bush or it's just not this, it's not that. It's life. This is life. And we, we are now nah, that, that, that some of us know that life is in it, but not everyone know that life is in it. Right. Like we would, like me and you would take herb for our tea morning, noon and night where we gonna know that it is life, but you right. will never take it before you cannot know that it is life. You'd have to take it in your system, it work too. And work on your system. Then from there you can you can if you even can tell someone, say yes so far. So what's up good for me? It done a lot for me. Guinean good, it done a lot for me. You know, you have many people over in the world can right. say that. Many cannot. Right. But what I really want is to enough people know that. You have to trust and believe in something else it's not going to work for you. That's true. That's true. That's how it goes, yeah, yeah. You have to trust something and believe. So if you, right. if you not believe, say it's not work, it's not going to work for you. Right, right. Honest, honestly, I'm telling you the truth. Right. It's true. Because it, it's like anything else in life, you know, if you're going to believe it's going to work or it's not, everything is by faith. No. Everything is about faith. Most naturally. Right? So we think, Every, oh, this is going to happen. If you believe in it, it's going to work. One of my favorite herbs um, that's been really good to me is the soursop. This one actually is from Mexico. This is one that's from Mexico here, right? And I just um, had it, this is a, put it in the sun and let it quill up. But then I have our soursop, the Soul Tribe Hill soursop leaves here. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, I'm not being biased, but our soursop leaves has a different vibration than this one. They both are helpful. Um, I prefer to use um, our Jamaican sarasau, something about the vibration of the island, something about the prayers of the island and how we harvest our herbs, something about it's very special, why it makes it so powerful. Um, so if y'all are interested in the sarasau, we got some on our website, tinturesoultribehills.com. We do harvest according to our tradition, which makes a difference. Um, Hunter, what are some of your favorite aspects of the soursop plant. The fruit, I had the fruit this morning for breakfast, but for of the leaf. What's your favorite part of it? The eyes and your, and your brain. Mm hmm Yeah, that, that's more. That's what it really for you. No, why the soursop tea do a lot for you. Your yeah. eye, your brain. Keep your brain focused. Whereas if you have <clears throat> your Damiana, Leave with it so far, help them to tour them together. Mm -hmm. yeah, help with your eye, eyesight a lot, right? Right, I've used it a lot, especially for the bark. You know, that the bark 
more good for you. So most people would just use the leaf, but we use the bark and the leaf in right. one. Did you know that the bark is also good for your same way? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, the bark good for your immune system. Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely. I find out that um, I had a client with, uh, her daughter had epileptic seizures and she had been going to doctors in the US for, uh, ever since the baby was born, she's four. And um, there were some motor development delays. There were some um, speech delays. But the thing that the mother was trying to get help with was trying to bring the seizures down. I think her daughter was having up to 20 seizures a day. And so we talked a yeah. day, a day, um, micro ones throughout the day. So we talked a lot about um, lifestyle, energy, what this might be a messenger of, like what things we need to look at energetically within the bloodline. But one of the things we talked about with her permission, I said, you know, I'm just sharing, you got to talk to your physician, go through that process. But in our tradition, we work a lot with Sarasap for neurological balancing. So um, I put her on a regimen of Sarasap, a tea. I told her how to prepare it, how to administer it and other things she needed to change. In less than 48 hours, the seizures stop. 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 <laughs> Oh, oh, that I'm see, telling you. magic, totally magic. Totally magic. No, it's totally magic. Oh, stop, Hunter. And Sarah that, Sarah, that's the bomb. So, what's up? Is the bomb, yeah. Sarah yeah. Sarah Sarah is the bomb. And you know, it's everywhere here in Mexico, and I know it's everywhere where you are, but it's such an amazing medicine <laughs> for neurological problems. But you know, you can also use it. I like to use it a lot when I'm doing some of my own magical work. Like, I use it in my candles sometimes. I don't know if you have. No, I never used it in that before. Yeah, it's good for protection work. It helps for um when you're trying to protect yourself from certain other things in life and or yeah. your children or do a floor wash or wash the walls or we can use wash them off. Yeah, you can use the Sarasap leaf or make a tincture because we do have the tinctures on our website at Soul Tribe Heals. And it's good for protection as well. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you something else about that Sarasap leaf. Okay. You know, so you can mix rosemary and sour sap leaf and give the child before she go to her bed. That means if they even have a test, they're more focused in the morning. Did you know it? Wow. You can do that also with sour sap, yes. Yeah. Sour sap leaf exactly. and rosemary. So that makes it two of them together, give her a teaspoon before she go to her bed. Okay. So for instance, she have exam the next morning. Exam. Give her okay. before she go to her bed. Wow. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Well, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Hold on, Hunter. Hold on. I want to make sure everybody caught that. So, um, Makita in the <laughs> says, Soursop is my favorite. She loves Soursop. I love it, too. But, Hunter, you're saying you could take Soursop leaf, such as this one, or these here. Rosemary. You this, know rosemary? Rosemary. Yes. Okay. You're going to mix them. Mix them. You boil okay. it with... Mix them together. Okay. Bef you give the child, if the child is 3, 10, 15, whatever, whatever exam they are doing. Okay. It keeps your brain focused and relaxed. Wow. And rosemary is Yeah, good. rosemary is also good for your brain. Yeah. It keeps the, the muscle and the vein, them circle in your brain. Nice. So, you know, remember now, when you go to your bed sleep in the night, you move mm. your body more relaxed. Mm. So it's the best time to take those tea. Oh, at night. Everybody relax. Right. Yeah, in the night before you go to your bed. So right. that give the child who have exam, who have CXC, you name it. Mm -hmm. It was the rosemary and the sawasap leaf. If you have a little piece of sawasap leaf bark, you can put it in your house. Okay. Would you say half and half? Like a... Yes, you have to do it that. So you have to balance it half and half. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a good recipe for a lot of um, parents. Yeah, you like on their children. Yeah. It's, it's an easy thing to do to help your child to be settled in their mind for school or reducing the anxiety and things like that. All right. Sometimes present prevent the anxiety, but again on the next hand, it helps circle them brain where them can focus more better. Wow. Wow. How, can so, I take a <clears throat> It can, it, can it be nightly, would you say, if they just need that nightly support while they're going to school? Yeah, it would be in the night. You give the child. Okay. It would be in the night. You give the child like a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half. Wow. 
All right, that sounds good. So there you go. That's a great recipe. So have soursop leaves, soursop bark if you have it. Um, hopefully we can get some of that on our website too. And then rosemary, half and half is by weight. Boil by that. weight, yeah. How long you say? You boil it for how long? All right. Two to five minutes. You don't boil herb, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me explain to all who don't know. I'm going to explain right now to you. When you take powder in herb, it's more better than when you chop it up. But you know, most people like it for them way. Right. But you're in, in with herb overall, you boil the water. Then you add the herb to the water. Then you, you, you cover it for around uh -huh. five minutes. Right. So it would be a dry, you dry the herb. You don't boil it. Right, right. Now, Hunter, Remember, yeah, yeah. A lot of herbs cannot go under eat. That's true. It break down the levels of the herb. You're right. So if the herb was, for instance, 100%, you put it under eat, it, it break down. So the in substance is not so strong again for your body. Right. That's how with most people, them, say, them go to the doctor, this not working, this not working. Most things go under process. So uh -huh. it, it becomes, it go, it, them use it with eat most naturally. I see. Okay. And most so herbs do not take eat. Remember, all right, I, yeah, yeah. Someone put you in the sun to stand. It's going to break you down, don't it? Yeah, it's true. That's true. If you're even there near the fire, you break down the same way. Yeah, it's true. So it's, it's, just, true. it's just the same. It's just the same. Okay, okay. So my questions become because maybe I'm doing something, I do something a little different because most of my herbs I do exactly Amen. the way you say it. But you know, um, I'm curious about like the ones that are like the soursop, for example, because it's kind of hard. And I find out I have to kind of turn the heat up a little bit, just a little bit higher for these to kind of pull it out because it's so hard. Would you, would you also recommend just steeping these? Because honestly, I boil them. Uh, or you still say just put it in a hot water and let it sit for something hard like this? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna let it come. Remember, you know, yeah, yeah. When you leave something in the hot water, it draw. Mm hmm Say so that weight draw, it left in the pot. Right, 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 right. So, are you not straining it? Oh, so you're doing a longer steep. Okay. All right. Okay. Most naturally. I'm glad you understand what I'm I, I got you. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> and anyone who's watching this video, please. <laughs> please hey, ask yeah, yeah. Question. Yes? I want to encourage people to ask their question of you, Hunter, because you're right there in Spanish Town, Jamaica right now. And I want people to be able to ask questions, to pick your brain, what's good for this, what's good for that. It's not just us talking, but it's for the, really for the whole, um, whole, uh, whole audience who are listening to us right now. While we need to be on these herbs, soursop is a powerful, powerful, powerful herb. Like Hunter said, good for your eyes. I know after I had my son, my eyesight got horrible. I couldn't see anything. I began taking the soursop tincture every single day. And less and less and less, I had dependence on glasses. And now I really, I really don't wear them unless just to have something on. But I don't, I don't really need it anymore. But the sour top has helped right. my eyesight tremendously. Yeah, yeah. Why you didn't tell me that before? Over the years, we've <laughs> been friends, yeah, yeah. You know, you've been telling me that. Come on, yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know, merengue leaf. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's the magic for eyesight, yeah, yeah. There you go. Come merengue. on, yeah, yeah. yeah. Merengue leaf, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. come on. You have eye problem all along. I didn't tell your family that. Right. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> You're right. You see, yeah, yeah. Like I'm going to tell you something. All right. The merengue leaf, uh -huh. you're going to get it. You're going to wash it. Okay. You're going to boil the water. Then you throw the merengue leaf in there until the water get green, just as the merengue leaf. Mm. You use it, wash your eyes for seven morning. When you do that, you come and tell me. Ooh, tell me a result. <laughs> oh, I got some ring <laughs> I'm going to do that. Yeah, it bring back arm, um, all right. What you call that in your eye? Um, the all right, the pupil. Yeah, it, it bring back your white and your black pupil. Oh, yeah, because, oh, wow, it clears your eyes. So it cleanses. And yeah. The lens is in your eye, yeah, yeah. Oh. It changed them also. Wow. And that's the moringa leaf? 
most naturally. And it helps lower your blood sugar level also, yeah. meringue leaf. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's, that's powerful. That is so powerful. Yeah, many people do not know. Yeah. It's just to know. It's just, that's what we Once you're dealing with herb in a yeah, yeah, you're going to know certain things. The herb going to teach you. Herb going to show you. They do. So you just wait this morning and the herbs are right. Go for that and that. You could even ask yourself, really me? No, but it's just your work. Right. That's just your work, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Hunter, I have a question for you. Somebody asked a question. Family, please leave your comments in the um, section. I, Hunter will answer your questions or I can answer your questions. Someone would like to know what else they can recommend for seizure. What else might you recommend for seizures? And I would imagine this would be both adult and, um, and adolescent children, seizures. What might you recommend? Mm -hmm. Pardon me, go ahead. You break up a, a what? You break oh, up oh, a minute. I didn't hear you clearly. No worries. Someone was asking what we could use, what Caribbean herbs we can use for seizures. And the children Remember saying, uh, and adults. You have all type of levels of seizure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It depends on the person's seizure. It, that's true. That's what I, <laughs> that was going to be the caveat. Oh, is there a Yeah, that, all right. I do not cut you, but... If most people understand, yes, they're asking about seizure, but seizure of a level. So you will have to know your seizure level before we can produce something for you. Suppose oh. this is a five-year-old, suppose this is a 20-year-old, a 27. When may I go produce it, what, it, what am I going to give the 27-year-old? I cannot give the five-year-old, not right. the 10-year-old. That's totally three different systems. Okay, so let me ask you this then. Generally speaking, what herbs in general might be used? Not saying specific. Blue vervain. Okay. Blue vervain. All right. And that would be um, internally and externally, or just take it, how would you, would it be internally mostly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Internally, you'd have to drink it. Okay. Boil it as your tea. Okay. I would, I would also say the soursop will go in that one as well, in general. Just yeah, you could, add, you could add both of them. You mm -hmm. could add both of them together. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, soursop help with a little bit of seizure also, same way. But you know that when more and one were herb together, it's a bootsa, so it will also help. It will also help, right, right. I yeah, think... when more and one herb combine, it's called a compound. A compound, exactly. So more stronger. It's more stronger, exactly. More st yeah, more also, stronger. I also found like um, sea moss to be really helpful in the balance. Oh, sea <laughs> moss. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. You just, you just, you just leaked something in my heart a while ago, yeah. You mentioned sea moss. Oh damn. Go ahead. Go ahead That's my baby, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. She's so beautiful. <laughs> you leaked something in my while ago, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ninety-two mineral out of hundred and two. Come Ooh. on. What your body need? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think sea moss is, is the business. We have <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't give up to a pregnant woman. Sea moss. A pregnant woman can live on sea moss without yes. eating any food at all. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm telling you. Yes. If you do not believe me, you can try it. That's I have a friend true. and told her to try it. 99 uh, 192 mineral out of 102 mm. sea must have what your body need. What you need. What more you could have want. Right. I make my Makai, I made his baby formula. I will substitute it. I would make it with sea moss and coconut milk. You know, when I was breastfeeding him and I was transitioning him. Yes. Over, he has pure Damn. sea moss. And when you see him, he's full of life. He's full of energy. He's full of electricity. Just pure energy. Okay. Smart as a You come in. in. Oh, Most naturally, because we all know that certain herb gear electrical to yes. your system. So you have certain herb gear electrical. That's right. Meaning, it bring life to your body. Right. Right. Absolutely. And but that the minerals you talked about is how the electricity travels through the body. They communicate. Body. Most naturally. So those who are drained, tired, fatigued, you may need an infusion of earth-based minerals that your body can easily assimilate. If you can't lose weight, you have a problem with your thyroid, you need sea moss. If you sea are moss, most naturally. Or you're constipation, or you're constipated, you can't move waste, sea moss. If your sleep 
It's bad. See, mom, if your blood pressure and your blood sugar levels are not where they should be, you need to be supported C-mos. by CMOS. Absolutely. Most naturally, you need that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, teach you an annex style. Oh, we do it in Jamaica. Okay. Oh, me, I tell you. All right. When, when I'm blaming my CMOS, hmm. I have to have a little touch. I, 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 I wonder if I can show you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is this, yeah, yeah? No, I can't see. Let me see. Look at it, yeah, yeah. What is it? You like can't tell me. Potato? Is that a potato? What is it? No. Look at it, good. Come on, yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah. let it stand. Oh, what is that? Stinking tall. Okay. Oh. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, you lead. When I'm looking about my seamus here, I have a little bit. A sunflower seed. Ah. And a little bit of what? Thinking to. Thinking to good is is that iron for your, your blood. Iron. So you also need a little bit of that in your semus. In ah. your smoothie. Whatever. Oh, if it, if it whatever it in your soup, in your porridge, in your smoothie, in your ice cream, you need a little bit. Mm. You need a little bit of thinking too. Okay, good for your blood also. It yeah. can mix with the with the with the seamus. And it tastes good. It tastes yeah, good. it's have a wonderful taste. Yeah. I have thinking to a punch also. Mm. So you put oh, yeah, yeah. I was telling you about this one. What is that? Uh let me see, make a see, make a see. I can't turmeric. Turmeric. What is this? What is that at the bottom? Turmeric and I can't read it. It's the bottom one. It's a kalawala, yeah, yeah. Oh. Turmeric, ginger, and kalawala. Ooh, what it's about a farmer. Immu- All right, kalawala is a is a farmer immune system booster. Mm. Yeah, it, it help boost the immune system just as ginger, mm-hmm. and it help. Your path, your, yeah, your feast. Mm-hmm. If you, all right. Is that herb that you use bathroom regular? Okay. Also, turmeric. You know that turmeric good for cancer also. Yes. And it helps boost the immune system. Yes. Also, ginger. Mm. So, I mix them together. Nice. They're called an immune system. Yes. Powder. Nice. So it's a booster for your immune system. Nice. Nice. So if if it's if it's you are to go to the bathroom, please let you go to the bathroom like twice. Oh good. If you, have, if you feel if you even you don't have an appetite, this bring back your appetite. Wow. Yeah, this is a form of boost to boost your system. It sounds like so if your system is not right. You can also take it as a tea, two times daily. Oh, nice. Because it's very strong. Yeah, I can imagine. Yes, it's very strong. Oh, wow. Can children take that as well? Yes, but you'd have to give them half teaspoon. Half teaspoon. But you're going to give the child too much. You're about the system too strong. No, 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 not mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that is that the child need? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I know, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding. That's what the child need. A booster yeah. to their system. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's good. Because definitely when they're going to school and or maybe their diet is not as good as them diet is diet not right. Herbs, most naturally. You can always use herbs to help. Yeah, and most people most people deal with fast food most naturally. Yeah, they need to take that. Honestly, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you. You know, one of the things... That is true, yeah, yeah. Huh? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you're still laughing, yeah, yeah. I'm always laughing. (laughs) (laughs) No, honestly, it's true. Yeah. But we need to clear this, yeah, yeah, to a system. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Also, Guinean. We need Um, to clear that to a system. I love... Because you know that Guinean clean your system oh my also. God. 
That guinea hen, let me tell you, so many people have told me just like one little teaspoon of our tincture, our guinea hen tincture, if they feel a cold coming on, a flu, they take just a little, little bit of it. And it, it's been one of the most powerful antibiotics and antivirals for a lot of people who use our guinea hen tincture. Guinea hen is so, 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 so powerful. I love it. Yeah, it, it, it's a native urban and from Africa, from America. Yes. North America to Africa. Right. So that's one of the most powerful herbs. Yes, it is. On yes. Yeah, Guinea. Guinea. Can you use it for cold, sinus, you name it. Also, cancer. Very good for cancer. Very good. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it, and it also get rid of gallstone, also. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you about Honestly, that. Honestly, I'm telling you, gallstone it also get rid of that. Wow. Does it, oh, wow. Well, well, you'd have to mix it. You'd have to mix it. But you'd have to use the root. Right. So you'd mix, you'd, you'd, you'd mix the, the, the Guinean root and the dandelion root. Mm-hmm. And the next herb called milk physic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, so you'd have to take that like for three months until I'll... Gallstone pass out. Oh, okay. so in more, yeah, you're gonna go to the bathroom, you're gonna see a little bit of blood, but do not now force yourself now, worry because pass everything is passing. Wow, you're gonna see some little shine thing come out. Yeah, it's less, it I get less in your system. Wow, so that's a gallstone recipe. You said guinea hen root, dandelion root, and milk thistle. Is the milk thistle root as well, or is it gonna be another part of it? It is a. It can't, the leaf and the root also. Okay. For gallstones. But I would, me use the root, because the root more powerful. Yes. We yeah, all know that. In everything, the root more powerful than the leaf. Right, right, right. Okay. Hunter, you have some questions here. Um, someone wants to know where are you located? You want to tell them where you at? Someone, they say they hear the roosters. Oh, damn. So I have, all right. I, I'm live, I'm live one, like one sea Waterloo Villa, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, but you'd have to come to Keystone in Spanish Town. Spanish Town. Nice. Yes. Spanish Town. That's how you can meet, that's how you can see me, you can meet me, you can greet me. <laughs> love it. No, that's how I share my love, yeah, yeah. I know you do, and I want you to, because everybody, I want you to, because we all want and want to give and receive love. Um, Hunter, another question here for you. What herbs would you use to help you on your spiritual journey? And yes, he's in Jamaica. This is Jamaica. Um, Sister Matisha. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Come on, it's the magic. Search my art, yeah, yeah. Search, search my heart. Heart. Tell us about it. Tell us about the magic of Search My Heart and why it's good for a spiritual journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Search my heart and clean off mucus off your chest, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's a magical herb. It is. If your heart do not clean, you cannot drink search my heart tea. Wow. You said if your heart is not clean, you can't drink the tea? If, no. You cannot <laughs> drink search my heart tea. If your heart is not clean. It searches your heart. It searches your heart. <laughs> it searches your heart. Listen what it named. It named search my heart. Yes. So it's search her. Honestly, yeah, yeah. All right, you see, most people who have chest problem, who smoke, who have mucus, yes, it help clean up that. Ah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. That's why it's so I good give work. a lot of people and it help them. They come back and say, Hunter, where do you get this herb from? Where you find this magic? I yeah. say, well, it's not in me. It's in the herb. Right, right. It's a beautiful herb. It's my, one of my favorites. I yeah, yeah, it's one of my... Yeah, yeah. You can have search me out in your pot and it, it, it's a fragrance. Yeah, it yeah. Is. So it wonderful is. and amazing. Yes, it is. I drink that tea actually every morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's herb I drink for my tea. Mm. Overall, I take herb for my system. Yes. No matter what the headache is, mm -hmm. my one. All right. You know, we, me, different. I'm going to, if, if I have an idiot, so I'm a leaf, I'm a Guinean. I'm yes, a good. You're good. 
Yeah, if you have, if you have so, sometimes we have urine problem, dark blood and the same Guinean mm. as a man. Don't afraid to use it as a man in Guinea. Mm. Yeah, because I clean your tube to as a man. Nice, nice. This is awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. One second about that search my heart because search my heart is like, hold on, we gotta stop and give her her honors because that is such a sacred, magical herb. I've um, used it for manners of depression. And you know, it's funny you say about the lungs because in our when we see issues in the chest and the lungs, we're always dealing with maybe grief, depression, anxiety, issues in the lungs. But Search My Heart clears that off, not just on the physical level, but on a spiritual level as well. Spiritual you, level, you understand me very you well, yeah. you smell it, it's like, oh, come. It's, it just draws Damn. you. You're like, what's going on? And you're like, hey, you're yeah, yeah, you yeah, understand very well. Yes, yes. Like you're yes, saying, damn, where where have been all along? Where have been all along? Where have my love been? Search my heart. Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's the bomb for me. That's my tea. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere in the house. Yes. That smell. Whereas if, you know, when when I love smell, yeah, yeah, when it half quail. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't mind all that scent that's relaxing my brain. Oh. Just like that. I'm just flowing. Flowing. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that tea. Yeah, yeah. And you know, we, amazing. we put it in our mumma tea, in our tea from mumma tea. We put it as one of the main ingredients because it helps with that. We have a love me more tea. Yeah, we that's have, true. Yeah, yeah. 100%. You're right on that. With You're some, right on that. So y'all definitely check us out. Soul, Soul Tribe Heals for the mumma tea. It has it in there. And love me more tea. Those two tea have Oh my damn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you can use that for your spiritual. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Take up two foot. Look, you're the bomb, yeah, yeah. No, you're you're awesome. We're together. We're the bombs. We're the bombs. We have a question for you. Another question. Some people are putting some um questions in the comments. Someone, Matisha, wants to know. She's in Las Vegas. What what does the brethren have any recommendation from womb health through herbs for the womb? And I know we talked a lot for about the wound. for the womb, the woman, the womb. Yes. All right. All right. This this question kind of sticky, yeah, yeah. I know. Because you have the womb, you have your uterus. All right, like dark blood. Dark blood clean the black tube and your uterus. Yes. It level your arm, your sperm. I want me to call it now. Your period chart. Mm -hmm. It balances it also. So it, 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 it depends. Sometimes. You have to make a comfort for the person. Yes. But you have to use dark blood in it. Dark blood is the main one. Right. It clean our uterus. Good for fertility. Mm -hmm. Where's our black tube also? Mm -hmm. But again, some people have to know you have to make certain you spend time taking the herb. Don't do it one week and say it's not working. Right. Oh, yeah. Take time. Take time. Can you mix it with the so herb? I would I would recommend dark blood. Yeah, dark blood would be the best one. Balance, as I may say, clean them black tube and the uterus. Can it be mixed with the vervain? Yeah, it can mix with the blue vervain, because the blue vervain also good for the woman, womb too also. Right, right. I love those two together. Um, we have in our mama tea as well, those two. All right. Really I, I do not cut it. Yeah, yeah. But if the person can get lavender, she can mix it, three of them together. Lavender also good for the woman womb. Ah, oh, the lavender. All right. Yes. They are, they are both good when they mix together. Okay. Mix together. Wonderful. Yeah. When they mix together, they're more stronger. The more yeah better yeah I get it I get it yeah that makes sense some all right some people well what I recommend some would boil it as a tea mm. okay before it before so you would mix the three of them together use them as a powder so you would you would boil it some like most ladies now would take that fragrance. Mm -hmm. They would sit over mm -hmm. it. So they would sit over it and that fragrance would go up and do it work from there. So you're talking like a yoni steam, mm -hmm. like a steam. Most yes. Ah, just like that. A good one. That's good. Yes. 
Yeah, they, so them can do it like for two weeks or two days if they want. Some can do it to seven if they like. Lovely. Pretending um, on how it works for them. How it works for them. Okay, okay. Matisha in the chat wants to say thank you, brethren, so much. She also says, wow, instinctively, I do use lavender for wound health. So it's interesting that you're saying that because she does it based off on instinct to use the lavender when she takes care of, while she's caring for her womb. That's what she says in the chat. Most naturally, yes. Awesome. And she can add a little bit. Tell her, a teacher, I give her a next one and she can add to it, our dark blood. But she can catch us online, Soul Tribe Trade. Yeah, definitely. We actually, in the Mooma tea, we actually have lavender too. So we have the dog blood, the search my heart, the verbe, and the lavender in there. And you can use that as a steam. All of those ingredients are there. <laughs> yes, Cam. Okay. You understand me very well. Them, remember, all of them give you a fragrance. Mm. And they're also good for whom. So you would use them, you know, as a whom. For the womb. Cleaner them. Yeah. So you don't do like a yogi. Yes. Remember now, every day you go, you learn. Yes. And I'm going to tell all these people who, who are watching who are not seeing. If you don't healthy, you can't wealthy. That's true. Or you're going to spend your money if you, if you are not healthy. Right. That's true. Or you're going to go around doing what you're going to do if you are not healthy. Or you're going to work if you are not healthy. Right. Or you're going to focus if you are not healthy, if your mind is not balanced. Mm. Both mind, both your heart, mind, soul, body, and spirit. Right. Right. So in every way you take it, if you are not healthy, you cannot it wealth. It don't matter. So the health is your wealth. I apologize for the delay. It sounds like I don't mean to sound like I'm cutting you off because it's just a delay in our communication. So I hey, that's that. that's okay. Yeah, yeah. May I ask a question? At any time, go ahead, yeah, yeah. You can ask any question. Matisha, <laughs> <laughs> Matisha in the chat wants to know. She says, "Yeah, yeah. Please ask Brethren if he finds any benefit in men steaming. Like women have yoni steam, men to do the same thing. Seems to be popping up more here in the United States. So apparently, that's a trend of men taking care of their um their phalluses in the way women do with steaming." But he's actually wants to know, is there any benefit for men to do that? Of course, yeah, benefit for man can do that, yeah, yeah. A, a man just have to take care of himself. Mm -hmm. Same dark blood, good for the man's sperm scound. Ah, nice. All right, ladies is different from man. I am a man, but I go with a lot of sisters. Mm-hmm. I get to understand that woman, me a man still, and I deal myself different from my girlfriend. So they are 100% right. right. Everyone deal with themselves different, but I want to say this to most men. We need to look and take care of ourselves more, more better. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of different with the yogi. Most naturally, when enough man, have to do not take herb to clean himself, both in him skin and in body. Right. Remember, you have raw moon, we're good for your man. You have strong back. Woo. You have chainy root. Yes. You have Guinean. And remember, I, I said to her earlier, tell her that Guinean good for man also. Okay. Yeah, remember, a man have a tube, you know. Your tube can block in many ways. Ah. By smoking, by drinking, by even food what you eat right. can block your tube also. So your diet have a lot to do with you. Yeah, diet. Mm. Yeah, wow. but as I just said, no, man need to take care of themselves more better. Right, yes. Clean themselves. Yes. Yeah, but, all right. Yeah, yeah, can I say this? Yeah. Oh, the coincidence. Most, most people call, call about their, their partner, which right. is the male. But women ignore to look at the, 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 the logics of life. Okay. Yeah, we do not look upon the reality of life. We look upon it the next time. Uh -huh. Yes, I was young. Yeah, 
me never usually looking at it, but gradually through herb, you look through. Because honestly, I'm going to speak this. I'm going to say it. If you're not riding the lady right, this is a problem. If you're not loving the lady right, it's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not taking care of yourself, it's a problem. Yes. It's true. Your hygiene is a lot. Your hygiene do a lot to you in your life. Right. Both in mm -hmm. and out. Your hygiene is a lot. Remember, yeah, yeah. things you eat, you perspire. So your sweat have a scent at it at many times. Mm -hmm. Or you treat yourself have a lot to do with you. Mm -hmm. So it left, it left a scent on you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, I'm telling you. It's real. Forget those stuff out of your body. You have to change your diet. You right. have to. That's right. a must. That's real. Plus, if some of them want in a yeah, yeah. See, tell me I have natural soap for them. Yeah. See, here. Let's talk about it. Come on. Turmeric. No, I, I'm telling you the truth. See, here. Natural herb billet. Turmeric and, uh, and carrot. See, here. Ah, uh, that's nice. It's beautiful. You said carrot and what? Also else? good for your skin. Natural carrot. Remember, me and you know that carrot good for your eyesight also. Yes. And carrot good for your skin. Yes. Just like that. Wow. See there, alkaline soap again, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is straight guaco. Guaco. Now guaco is really good. Yeah. For wow. It, this good for eczema. Yes. May you know that guaco good for your skin. Yes, yes, yes. This one also is your seamus. Ah, wow. That's good for the skin too. It's good for eczema and rash also. That's true. Wow. wow. This is the magic, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's magic. That's the magic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. Hunter. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. I have a next one. Here is it. This is another alkaline. Oh, yeah? This is King of the Forest. Do you know it? Oh, King of the Forest. Yes. <laughs> okay. King of the Forest is also good in tea and in skin. Yes, it is. So it's good for tea drinking and it's good for so making for your skin. Okay, Hunter, send me some pictures of them. I can post it on my page so people can contact get some soap, okay? Yeah, I will. I will. All know right. that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know that you're, we are family, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. We are not at the one place, but you know, the heart, mind, soul, and body is at one. At one. Thank you. Keisha wants to say to you, she says hello to everyone. Hey, Keisha, thanks for joining. Hey, Keisha, and hello, girl. <laughs> Hello, baby. I send my blessings to you. Yeah, Keisha, she's she's took the class Caribbean healing and herbalism. She takes all of our herbs. She takes our sea malls, our sour sap, our muma tea, our blood of death cleanser. Her oh, husband. damn, girl. <laughs> she's a big hey, so, supporter. So, so she, she ever understand that's what we... Hmm? Yeah. What's that? That's great, girl. Keep on taking your herb. Yeah. And I tell you, hundred percent. I can tell you. I know that it is working for you. Else, it wouldn't be on the line right now. Listen to us. You already if it wasn't know. working. Yes, you already know it. And Leah wants. Would not get in tune to herb. Gonna have to get in tune. Right. The same corona comes. You so much damage it do to the human body. Yes, because of all of us human. Right. Feed on too many fast. Food. That's food. We're not taking no detox. Right. We're not de we're not detoxing with liver. We're not detoxing with lungs. But we're not detoxing with body. We're not trying to lose no weight in no way. It's sassy perilla detox here too also. Oh yes. Sassy perilla make you lose weight also. That's true. That's true. And give you iron. And, and it give you iron also. Mm -hmm. Stinging neck will give you iron also. Right. 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 Look, and it's good for fertility also. Which one now? The stinging nettle? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Do back your research, yeah, yeah. Stinging nettle is good for fertility also. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But but ours is yes. different, though. It's, it's different from the one in the States. Ours is very, very, very different. Um, The one that we get from Jamaica is different. It has a... It has a um, it has another compound with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I do not cut it, but anything is from anything from Jamaica is <laughs> always different. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's true. It's always different. That's true. And anything from me is always different. Yeah, yeah. We deal with it. 
We deal with it love, yeah, yeah. That's how I do my thing. Love. Love is the key, yeah, yeah. Love is the greatest thing a one could have ever have in my life. Love. Yes. The greatest thing you could have ever have. Yes. If you're not love, you don't have anything, yeah, yeah. True. That's that's true. That's true. Hunter. Go ahead. Someone says wants to know what's good for focus. But I know we talked about it earlier. Someone who just popped on, Leah. Leah Rose would like to know what's good for focus. And then we want to talk about detox in a minute. Someone wants to know about detox. All right. Focus. You see him? All right. Blue, you hear about Blue Vervain? Hmm. Search my heart. Hmm. And so as I believe. Hmm. And rosemary. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Those four herbs. Right. Keep it to relax. But rosemary and so as I believe help the child focus more. Focus. If you're doing a study that help to balance your brain. Right. Keep your calm, keep your focus. Right. So I would recommend you to rosemary, search my heart, blue vervian, and so as I believe. Ooh, that sounds like a powerful combination right there. <laughs> That sounds powerful, right? Yeah, it, it, it helps calm your nerves. Yes. But I'm going to I'm gonna say something more to her. Mm. The bark is more better to help calm your nerves. Right, right. With the sour sap. Right. So we in Jamaica use the sour sap bark. Yes. So we love that part. That is the strong. Do not get me wrong. The leaf is strong. Yes. But we all know the bark is stronger than the Definitely. leaf. Definitely. And so you need the bark and the leaf. So if you can use the bark, if you cannot get the bark, well, fine. You can use the leaf. But please, put a little bit of rosemary in there. You can check. You can do your research on rosemary. Rosemary good for the nerves. Yes, very good. The human you. body overall. But the nerves, most of all. It's on blue vervain. Right. Blue vervain is for your blood and your brain. Wonderful. And we have these on our website, Soul Tribes. We have our sour sap tin. The Mumma Tea has the blue vervain. It has the Search My Heart in it as well. Um, actually, the hair oil that we created. Y'all, I've been growing my hair. And we use a lot of... Yeah, things. and them can find us on Earth Warrior also. Yeah, yeah. We have a, an Instagram. We have a detox. We have the immune system booster. We have the avocado soap. We have the alkaline soap. You name it. We have a fiber power. We have a, we have a gallstone cleaner. You name it. Drop your link. Drop your link down. Um, yeah, let's drop your link. Yeah. We are, uh, we are on Instagram, yeah, yeah. All right, let me see. Let me hold on, y'all. Third warrior. We are on Instagram. I'm going to put it up there so that um, people can see your handle. Okay? So they can see it. Connect with Hunter on Instagram. Let me see. I'm just looking you up. All right. So I'm going to post that there. Oh, here it is. It is Earth Warrior Sacred Water. Yes. So you're at Earth Warrior. I'm gonna put that in the chat, y'all, so y'all can follow him on Instagram. Let's see. Earth. All right. Yes. Warrior. Hey, yeah, yeah. Have a great um, Connect with Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I use. Let's see. All right. Hey. In Jamaica, when before I know about these herbs, mm. but then we use gotta use chew stick, brush with teeth. It's so it's a farmer, it's a farmer root, but it's very thick. Ah. But keep by keep on trying, it gets soft and soft till it's sudden and clean your teeth. Them said also good. It's good for your teeth. You know that? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yes. And to me, my understanding of me get though from the chew stick, it's more better to clean your teeth with than a toothpaste. Okay, if the world do not know, fluoride good not. If the world do not know, fluoride is not good for your teeth. Yeah, it's not good for your chew brain. Chew stick kills gingivitis, bad breath, and all these things on your teeth. Chew stick, I can't tell you. I use it, yeah, I use, I make it as a powder, but I use it to clean my teeth. Mm. And I have yeah, fluoride, fluoride deteriorates your teeth after a while. 
And fluoride also causes um, depression and it also cal calcifies the pineal gland. So if you're wondering why you can connect, we talked about spirituality and herbs, why you can't drink what you want. Sometimes the chemicals in our everyday products, okay, yeah. it says you're not supposed That's to true, yeah, yeah. But everybody swallows a little bit of toothpaste every day because you don't always wash it out. So you're still taking it part in your body. It's not needed. Um, it causes depression, anxiety, there's a lot of stuff in your body. So it's important to know that everything that you put on your body goes in your body. So while we're talking about detoxing, which is going to be our next thing, we got to also detox the products that we use on our skin, that we spray on, yeah. that the deodorant that we put on, all of this stuff, especially deodorant, because this is your lymphatic system right here. Your lymph system are here. This is where it's easy to absorb yeah. things. Most yeah. naturally, because yeah. most fashion people you have no yeah, yeah. Right, right. What smells good, what looks Fashion's good, but it's not always Jesus. healthy. Yeah. Um, so when it comes to detox, we have a fabulous, fabulous blood and lymph cleanser detox, which is really good. Uh-oh, looks like Hunter got off. We're going to get him back, which is really good for cleaning the blood system. It's good for the, um, the spleen, the liver, skin issues, um, old waste, old wounding, old things that no longer serve you. The, the blood and lymph cleanser that we have on our site, soultribeheals.com, is excellent. Any healing regimen you want to get started on, we're going to see what happened to Hunter, and then hopefully we get him back on just a little bit. You want to first clean. You want to first clean before you do anything. First thing we do, we got to clean up. We got to take away the things that no longer serve you. So then when we put in the nutrients, and then when we rebuild your physical house, it's stronger. So our blood and lift cleanser does that. It is super bitter. I'm telling you right now. Keisha could tell you, her husband, it is gross. It is nasty. But it's the bitterness that you need. It is the bitterness that you need to support your wellness that does the cleansing. So I encourage you, even now it's getting springtime, it's warming up, get on your herbs, get on your cleansing regimen. Hunter gave us a lot of good insight. And I'm going to see if we can get him back. Um, gave us a lot of good insight on what we can do using herbs and a lot of recipes that you can use just to help yourself. And I'm telling you, if you never had Caribbean herbs, <laughs> If you've never had it, then it's, it's, you're in for a surprise. So head over to SoulTribeHeals.com and get you something nice. Get you something really, really nice. Let me see if Hunter can, we can get him back online. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments um, because we want to talk about it. All right, someone says we use a lot of chewing sticks here in Ghana a lot when I was young. Yes, before there was toothpaste and before there was uh, toothbrushes, what, what, what were we using? How are we maintaining our oral health? A lot of people, a lot of indigenous cultures use chew stick or a chewing stick. And that helps with the fibers that cleans in between the teeth. Um, when you chew it, it produces an enzymatic effect that washes away plaque, washes away food debris. Um, and it, it's not abrasive. It doesn't wear down your gums. And it's a wonderful way to keep your teeth healthy and strong. I, I, I enjoy it. And Hunter makes it to a powder and taste it that way as well. So you can do that as well. Another way to keep up your herbal apothecary when it comes to your oral health. Another thing you can use for your oral health as well, you can use charcoal, activated charcoal. It's good for whitening your teeth. And whatever toothpaste you're using, um, you can add it to it. Now, it does make a mess. So with charcoal stains, I'll just tell you that. But it whitens your teeth naturally without any mild, not any side effects at all. Um, I use it all the time, and I love it. And it freshens your breath as well. And, you know, charcoal absorbs. So it goes um, in between your teeth and absorbs toxins as well, not just whitening your teeth. It takes out and it absorbs. Sometimes you'll notice when you're brushing with it, um, you can start to form in a ball, and you feel like you have to cough it up because it pulls out from, like, your gums, in between your teeth and your gums, pulls out all of those things, and allows you to regurgitate it, which keeps your breath and your teeth and your smile really beautiful. So let's see if I can get Hunter back on the line. I hope everything's okay with him. <laughs> let's see. Well, I want to thank everybody for being here and joining us for our midday herbal session. We just thought to have some fun to get online. Oh, and it's one, one, one. So happy one, one, one to you all. It's one, one, one here. <laughs> Um, and we're just really excited to be able to do this. Let's see. I think there's Hunter. He's coming back. Let me hear what he says. I'm going to be back in a second. Yeah, yeah. The phone, we have already a problem with the phone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunter said he's coming back, family. So I'm going to be right back in the 
Five minutes. Oh, five minutes. So that's a Jamaican five minutes. So it might be a little longer. So let, let's 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 talk for a little bit, family. Let's talk. So tell me, what are some things that you have concerns about um, of your own health, um, problems, issues, things that you've seen maybe in your community that you think maybe herbs can help with? What are some things you think that we could um, we could share? Because we'll love to talk about it. Hunter should be back in just a little while. Thank you, Keisha. Keisha says, herbal knowledge has been a blessing to me and my family. Yes, I'm grateful. And you've been using these, <laughs> you've been using these herbs, Keisha, and I see how much it's been serving you and your family and your husband and y'all's breakthroughs and your children. You are definitely a star, um, I would say testimony of how you believe in plant medicine and how it works miraculously. So I'm grateful to be able to watch your um, growth with these plants, Keisha, and maybe continue to grow together with them. And you love the guinea hen. I know you love the guinea hen too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Matisha says, did he answer about the men steaming? I had to pop off for a second. He did. He did talk about men steaming. In fact, he gave a whole like dialogue about men and hygiene and how it's so important that men take care of their phallus and the care that's there as well. So if you go back, um, he talked about some herbs that would be good, the verbane is one. Men can use the dog blood because it keeps their, their tubes, he says, clean and clear. Um, that's definitely men, there's something, definitely herbs for that. And then he said also, it's something that men need to do more often. But if you go back, he mentioned that, but yeah, that's a, um, that's a thing. I didn't know it was a thing in the States, men's thing, because I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into that. <laughs> I didn't know, but I could imagine very much so that if it's good for women, it's great for men. Let's see. Here's Hunter. He's coming right back on. Let's see. Let's get him back on. So, yes, he did answer your question. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. But put y'all's questions in here so Hunter can and I can answer, or Hunter can answer, and we could just continue this fun conversation. I'm enjoying this. If you're enjoying this, put a one. Put a one in the chat. If you're enjoying this kind of free flow dialogue, talking about whatever comes up, let's put a one in the chat and let me know that you're enjoying this. All right, Hunter, I'm adding you back, honey. Are you there? Yeah. Hello, I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. You're hearing me now? Mm -hmm. You're hearing me clear? Okay. Yes, I <laughs> I pull my water. Yep. You ain't miss nothing. You're right on time. <laughs> Let me tell you this, oh, though. Damn. I mean, what do I miss here? Yeah, yeah. I miss something. What do I miss here? Yeah, yeah. oh, okay. In front. No, we were just holding okay, space okay. for you to come back. Okay, then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. But listen, Hunter. I'm just asking for me some question. Some people wanted to ask. Um, oh, damn. Wanted say, yeah, yeah. Keisha wanted to say really? that Charles today, what do I mean? she said, which is her husband, Charles, that blue vervain and dog blood has been helping yeah. him wonderfully. He takes our herbs, so she's saying that her husband uses the blue vervain and the dog blood, and it works good for him. So I wanted to let you know that because you mentioned that being good herbs for men. Uh oh. I can hear you. Mm hmm. And Matisha had asked earlier about the men steaming. Could you just give a list of herbs that you mentioned that men could also use yeah, it's very, for their um, phallus? Very good, yeah, yeah. How women use their herbs um, in a yoni steam? Ah, that no. All right, really and truly, you know that woman is a different, but a man would have to take it. He would have to drink them as in tea. So, search me out a one. I have to take blue vervian film tea also. Cheney root. Bamina. I have to raw moon. I have to drink as in tea. 
Wow. Yeah, bo wow. Bo those herbs help give him stamina. The nice. dark blood, nice. the imps can still use him dark blood because it help with him sperm count also. Yeah, dark blood help with his sperm okay. count also. Mm. So, him ate, him ate, him can deal with him, it chain root, stronger. strong back, raw moon, awesome. Awesome. and him dark blood. Wow. Him still can, yeah, this. yeah. Those herbs now give stamina. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, and most of those herbs right. push certain things out your system back. Right. So most, most, some you are going to sweat. Right. Some time you are going to the bathroom, some time you are going to sweat. Because you know most things come out in your sweat sometimes. And every time you go to the bathroom, you pass, you might no. pass feces. <laughs> some you pee pee, some you sweat. Nothing. Want urine. So some people have to know that. May I jump here because you know so you might hear me say peace. I don't want you to get it wrong. I have to be mean. No, that's how herbs set me, yeah, yeah. Me can't be nobody. Me have to be myself. Me cannot be you. You cannot be me. Right. Me have to just be myself. It's yes, beautiful. you know, we, we, we are going to meet intelligent people. Where we're going to have to deal with them. To talk to them in a different so way. thank you. You know, it's me and your talk. So we can speak to you yes. in a little part. Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hey, yeah, yeah. You are so wonderful and you are so great. Huh? Where you been all along? You are sent from above right. yeah, yeah. I tell you that every day from a meeting now. And it's I want right to share here. with the people them you know. Tell them, let the people them know it's online you know me. You don't know me in person. And how much you know we're going yeah, yeah? We're going actually what four here? I told you. I told you, yeah, you need to leave that job. You are the one that told me. The world to be they are too the great. Job. Leave that job. Plus, you were ready to leave that job too. Without nothing. <laughs> and that you told me. Don't you? Yeah, you told me to leave my room. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I just live here. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're kidding. And then yes. the past few years, we you know each other. Yeah, yeah. You're in America, I'm in Jamaica. It's been a beautiful I time. want to let all who are listening, let them know the, the relationship that we have and the understanding. Yeah. That's true. Come forward, That's true. Right? Three years. And we still That's have this true. understanding. <laughs> Both, both rough, both, oh, both no, good time and bad time. I believe, in, I believe there's, so much, there's so much greatness inside of you. And the spirit wouldn't allow No, we're always here, yeah, yeah. You never give up on me, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm grateful for you, Hunter. Yeah, yeah, you know. For I someone who is not I at your feet, push out so frozen. many. I didn't want to interrupt you to tell you that your screen is frozen. Yeah, 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 I'm not seeing it though. Can yeah, you see yeah. me now? Can anyone else see me? <laughs> Let me know if you can see us and what you can see, family, if you don't mind. Let us know. Let's see. No, yeah, yeah. Can you see us? All right, Hunter. I can't see you, brother. All right, let me see if I can see it. All right, I can't mm -hmm. see your face. Oh. Okay. But yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm here back. Okay. Oh, they said they cannot see you. But the picture is a little bit blurry, though. Yeah, yeah. Back on, you may come back in with the picture. With the yeah, I can not see you, but my know? picture, I do not know what's going on. Live again. All right. Thank you, Hunter. And thank you all for your patience. <laughs> thank you so much. This, been a, this has been a lot of yeah. fun. Hold on, yeah, yeah. Yeah? All right.
Yeah, yeah. I want them. I want. I want them to see me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna click off. Tell him. Tell I do not say anything. I'm gonna click off and click on back. I want. I want to hear In what the they meantime, have to say. Y'all be thinking about some questions you have for Herbless Hunter. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be herbs exactly. One actually, one person asked about spirituality. Uh, spirituality in our culture, excuse me, herbs play a big role in our spirituality. Um, how we move, how our energy moves, the energy of the plant yeah. as it relates uh -huh. to that which we need for ourselves. It's a hand in hand relationship. Every day I take herbs. Every day my family consumes herbs for this very reason. It's a part of our lifestyle. And also our lifestyle is part of our spirituality. And our spirituality is part of our lifestyle. Um, so those two are, are the same. So herbal medicine, herbal knowledge, herbal wisdom is part of our spirituality. It helps to elevate our minds and elevate our bodies. It also comes to restore balance. It comes to cleanse, to heal, so that and be in our bodies and be a confluent in our bodies as we're on this ascension journey. Right. All right. All right, Hunter, try again. Hunter? People that want to see me. I'm going to take you off and then I want you to come back on. I'm going to take you off on my side. Okay? And then I want you to come back on. All right, thank you. Yeah, I'm here and here. Okay, so let me see the questions that are here while Mr. Hunter is coming back on. What's a good combination for weight loss and detox? Ms. Beatrice Charles wants to know. Okay, Ms. Beatrice, we're going to answer your question. I want to see if Mr. Hunter can get back on in just a little while because I'm sure he'll have some other things that he could recommend for detox and weight loss. One of the things I notice about weight in general, especially in the West, is that a lot of times the weight that we put on, Hunter's probably going to talk a lot about the food that we take in, but I'm going to talk more about the emotional things we take in, right? Um, things that cause fear, things that cause anxiety, feelings of insecurity. A lot of my clients, I see a lot of my clients who have resistant weight loss, it's because of some energies that they, hold, they are still holding on to within their energetic field. What do I mean by that? Um, if there's issues of maybe abuse, um, currently or even in childhood, and someone not feeling safe, right? Or just a feeling of just not feeling safe where they live or where they work or in a relationship or just safe in general. Sometimes I notice they will start to hold on to weight because the weight serves as a, as the body trying to feel its padding. The weight serves, the extra weight is the body trying to preserve itself from the fear of something happening. So sometimes it's an energetic thing where we have to do a lot of energetic work to see why I'm holding on the weight. And you, some people, they can eat the most cleanest diet and be clean, 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 and can't, lose, can't seem to lose the weight. It's because the weight is actually energetic, manifested in the physical, because your body's always trying to find balance. So people who are struggling with sugar addictions may need to have a more sweeter environment, a sweeter experience in their lives, because their body's always going to crave that balance, if that makes any sense. So if it's not there in our relationships or within ourselves, we may reach for a candy, we may reach for a soda, we may reach for a cookie, and I'm guilty. Guilty, 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 guilty. But then I realize, what is this trigger that has allowed me to have these emotionally eating bouts? What is this really about? Is it about the food or me being hungry? Or is it about something greater? So I always tell people with detoxing to be mindful of what are the emotions that may be causing some of the, um, the attractions to certain foods or the attractions or contracts with certain energies that could be keeping the weight um, on. So what you can take, some good herbs. We have, we have a wonderful blood and lymph cleanser detox on our website. Check that one out, soultribehills.com. Look at the ingredients that's listed there. Keisha on the line can tell you how much it's helped her and her family, her son, her, excuse me, her husband rather, who um, was detoxing off of pain medications for a while um, due to an accident, how it's helped him to get his strength back, to get his energy back. Um, lowered his blood pressure and she's talked publicly and they've talked publicly about it that's why i'm sharing it because that cleaning up is going to be the first thing dandelion root is really good i love dandelion roots absolutely absolutely important cleavers is another herb that's really important cleavers are the ones that go into the lymphatic system so you know you have 
um, your cleaning system with, through your blood, your, your liver, your, your colon, et cetera, et cetera. You have all those organs working together, elimination organs. But the lymphatic system only moves if you move it, right? And it's a very, very important instrument for cleansing. The only way you can really move lymph through the body, either you manually do it, and that's when you may see like lymphatic drainage massage to move the lymph out. Lymph is around here, around here. We talked about it being here, here, groin areas, all the spaces. You do that first. So you can move it manually, right, through physical manipulation. You can move it through sweating, through exercise. This is why exercise becomes more important because it moves the lymph throughout the body, moves it out so you can feel better. You won't feel sluggish. You won't feel tired. You won't feel irritable. Move that out or through herbs. And so we include cleavers as one of the herbs because cleavers go in and it pulls out the, the microwaves. It pulls out old waves from years and years and years and it pulls it out and it puts, it puts it into the blood and it filters out as you're drinking your water and as you're fasting or you're changing your diet. It pulls all of that out from your lymphatic system. So cleavers become important. You can use dandelion leaf, which is also a mild diuretic. will help you to go to the bathroom 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 that's really good um as you're detoxing i tell people they want to remember that the blood is getting detoxed as well so you want to drink lots and lots and lots of water um, on your detox journey i also like burdock root burdock root is great for cleansing the blood as you know your blood and blood cells are everywhere everywhere so we want to cleanse them because it's going to cleanse everything that is touched and when the blood is thick when the blood is heavy um, because of lack of detoxing or it's too stressed out, you're not going to feel good. You're going to feel irritable. Um, you're going to feel stressed out. Your skin is not going to look as beautiful as you want it to be. Your sleep, you're just not going to feel right. Normally, it's the blood that needs to be cleansed. So we recommend you do that uh, while you're doing the lymphatic cleansing as well. Um, aloe vera is good for the colon. The inside, the gel is good for the colon as well. Um, you can use senna. Now, senna you can find locally. And senna has a more um, strong action to it. So senna is like, okay, if you take some senna tea, you want to be near a bathroom. With, as with ours, you can, you got some time to get to the bathroom. <laughs> it's not as emergency as the senna. But senna will un un unclog, unclog you really quickly, really, really, really quickly. It's not good for long-term use, though. You don't want to use it long-term because the, the increase, um, contraction of the bowel walls if you stimulate it too much over time it can weaken and so you don't want to have weak bowels um, as a result of overuse of center but for situations of maybe monthly cleansing or you blend it with a tea where it's not as much you can mitigate some of that and take it for a little bit longer but you don't want to be like dependent on it for a longer period of time but that would get like the unplugging um that process going um capsule oil is another now i this oh I disdain cash oil. I disdain it, but it's so good. It's so good. I remember when we were children, um, when you see that big spoon on that table and that bottle, I think it was Scott's Emotion. I can't remember the Scott's Emotion, but y'all know what type of one, y'all know which one I'm talking about. On a counter, you knew you were going to get detox. And the reason why we detox in the spring and in the fall was that we won't get sick. So our detox program was a way that um, the cash oil was a way that prevented us from getting sick because we know our immunity is in our stomach, right? Hey, Hunter. Hey, yeah, yeah. And they, <laughs> I, was, I was listening. Them can use also the green juice for their weight loss. Oh, the green juice. Okay. Yeah, them can use the green juice for their weight loss. What would be in the green juice? What would we put in there? You, you'd have cane in there. Oh, yeah? You know, kin, kin, kia. We eat. It's a vegetable, kale. Uh-huh. Oh, kale, kale, okay. Yeah, broccoli, spinach. Okay. Oh. And cucumber. And ginger. Yeah. You hear what I said? Yes, we heard you. I, I, and pineapple juice also help you oh. with weight loss. Pineapple juice also help you with weight loss. Pine yeah, that's true. That's true. That's very but true. it would be the natural pine and not the artificial what you buy in the box. Right. It would be the natural pine. 
Yeah. No artificial. Right. Straight organic. Yeah, yeah, because you want the enzymes. But with the detox now, you can also use burdock root. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use also sea moss. Oh, yes, the sea moss. Let's not forget about that. <laughs> yeah, you can use sea moss for your detox. Yes. You can do seven day, you can do 14 day, but no meal. All right, with the detox, you can use green juice, you can use fruit juice, or you can use sea moss mm. with water. With your detox. Okay. So no food for seven days. So fasting. Just vegeta no, I'm vegetable. You can use vegetable as a juice too. Oh, oh. So you can use straight be a vegetable. Okay. I yes. See. That has detox. So you would have you have blend straight vegetable. I see, I see. So if you have been for seven days, you blend the vegetable, the amount where you do for seven days. If you want to do a 14 day, you can do a 14 day data. Nice. I agree with that. I agree with the greens. I highly, yeah. highly, highly recommend. And it helps your body while you're detoxing to feel strong and nourished, but you're not feeling hungry, you're not feeling depleted. And you can feel that they're supporting your body while you're detoxing. Definitely. Most naturally because uh, you're not eating, so the herb working in your system. Right. Remember when you're detoxing, you're know, clean. Then you build back. Right. That's right. Number one is. Clean. So if you build back, you're going to use natural herb now. Your sea moss, your burdock root, your dandelion, your sassy perilla, you take back them, you have to give back yourself iron, mm. protein, mineral. So you start dealing with your beans them now. You understand? Right. So remember, you, know, you cleanse the body. Right. So you build back the body now. Right. Right. So a straight herb, you have to go take back now. Right. Wow, 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 wow. Anything else would you recommend for, I think during detoxes, we need to also be doing things where we're not taking in so much energy from other people. So less time on social media, maybe less time on the phone, less TV, getting more into nature, <laughs> getting more into yourself reading and journaling. Yourself, yeah, that's most naturally. Yeah. You have to take that time there also. Definitely. You have to take that time before yourself, yeah, yeah, also. Right. Right. Pitching. All right, most people take three quarters of the time in them work, but what about themselves? What about them body? That's true. That's true. We spend more time. Well, you know what? The society tells us we need to spend more time on things outside of ourselves. And less time taken in. Most naturally. That's most naturally. All mixed up and out of balance because it's the opposite of what we are naturally meant. We're meant to take care of ourselves. One thing I really admire about my hero, he's very selfish. He says, me, 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 me. And he's aware that everything is about him. That his needs. All right, most naturally. <laughs> we got to Yes. Me, me, me. That's how it's supposed to go, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's how it's supposed to go. Right. Let's see, Hunter. Hold on. I think we got another comment. All right. Um, let me make sure I... I okay. Beatrice, Beatrice, did we answer all your questions below? Please let us know. And I also sent you a link to the website where you can get the detox tea. Okay, honey? Keisha wants to say, agreed. And herbal detoxes assist with tuning... Excuse, excuse me, turning around the way you eat for the long run. No crash diet so you're not deprived, especially is if you use sea moss during the cleanse or fast. That's important. That is very Yeah, important. that's important. That's very that's important. very important. Yes. Because sometimes fasting can be hard for a lot of people. I know for me, even in my story, that I realize. Yes, because of my eating um, disorders I used to have and my history, fasting can be triggering for me personally. So I always do it with herbs. I always do it with sea moss so it doesn't feel like it's ah, on your body, right? Your body, yes, because your body drain most naturally. Right. But she right, 100%. She right. She's absolutely right. I love sea moss fasting. It's, it's probably, it's so easy. You don't, you're not hungry. You're not irritable. It's so easy to do. You get so many benefits. It's, I'm glad you understand. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah. It's more better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
No, yeah, no, honestly, the seamers do not let you feel hungry. Never. You know, just a cup of seamers. How oh, great is that to your body? Then a big chunk of food, just a little cup. That's true. I see. It, it, it could have even been a six ounce cup. Right. An Irish mash. Right, right. It's so great for your body. 92 mineral. Yes. Out of 102, where your body need. Yeah. You don't want more than that. That's true. Your body don't need all that. But again, you know, okay. And uh, look how enough people eat here. Yeah. Some of us eat different, you know. Some of us have to eat a lot before we tell ourselves that we feel pleased enough, you know. Right. I, I'm a big fan. Yeah, it's true. I'm listening. No, but for some people still, yeah, yeah. For some who can't get the Irish mash that way, they're going to eat, make some people die at no change because and everyone can get it like, oh, we can get the Irish mash. That's a difference. I remember you have some Irish mash where no protein, it is not good. Yeah. So again, you have to know that again, most people... Now, the franchise, like most people, but they can get what they want. Right. It's true. But you see right now, you're online, so anything they want, them can reach you and yeah. reach us and we'll let, you, and we'll let them get it. Whatever. No matter where they are in the world right now, they can get what they want. They can get it, right. Soul Tribe Heels. We all try to see Moss Gel on our website. So you can get that as well. We have sea moss also with pineapples and dates. We talked about the good for your um, digestion. The dates is really, really good for fiber, iron, and it tastes super, super delicious. So you can go over to Head Soul Tribe Heals right now and order that. And you can get some of the healing benefits, all of the healing benefits that Hunter and I are talking about. Uh, so don't forget to do that. And like, share, subscribe this video while you can, while we're talking about it. Um, and I will post a link for our consultations on, on at, in the chat. So if you want to do a consult with myself, you can. Or Mr. Un Uncle Hunter, Mr. Hunker, Hunter. Oh, damn, yeah, Uncle, yeah. Uncle whenever they're ready. Whenever they're ready, yeah, yeah. As well. Because, yeah, yeah, that's our work. Yeah. And yeah. as long as life is in everybody and we're doing, we have to teach the people, to let the people know. Oh, because without a child go to school, he cannot learn. No, sir. He can learn, but he have to have someone to teach him. He can learn from him one. Mm. Wise words are spoken, but for eat that take eat, you know. I That's know. what the Bible said. That's right. It's for those who take heed. So we're going to drop that link in the chat so that y'all could make your appointments and if it doesn't work for your time send us a message and we'll, we'll work around so we can meet your schedule um hunter we have another question in the chat you have a second go ahead go ahead yeah yeah all right so Patrice wants to know so while detoxing how many green juice does she need to have each day since she's cutting out food or does she need pardon me can so you repeat that for me a minute okay she says, so while, while I'm detoxing, how many green juice do I need each day? <laughs> Out food. Now, would, this, would she need to get a, um, a, a consultation with you? Or can you tell her how many the green juice? All right. Morning, noon, and night. All right. That's for that three times. Mm. Three times. That's it. Yeah, three times. No more than three times. Morning, noon, and night. All right. Because, uh, all right. Remember, you have to take it in the morning. Morning, noon, and night. So you give him time for work. All right. So in the noon again, you take it. Then in the night, you take it before you go to your bed. Because you have to sleep. All right. Okay, Hunter, I think you... You can't have space for time, man. I can't see you, Hunter. It looks like you're on. Uh, you disappeared. Tilt the, tilt the screen down a little bit. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Okay, looking good. All right, thank you. One and noon and night. And I would recommend that oh. you or I would recommend you me? after uh, six o'clock. Pardon me, Yaya. I said I would recommend that she don't eat after six o'clock. 
No, no, she cannot eat after six, yeah, yeah. The body locked down at that time, yeah, yeah. Right, right. All right. All right. Like fifth, like so ten minutes to six in Jamaica, the rooster would go on him and him. The rooster I go sleep then. In we just said in Jamaica. Right. That means him no say I'm time now for coming six o'clock. Wow. You can't get the full out of door six o'clock. Nah. Oh wow. I left me is not there and the cook open him and go in at the cook. Go go in there go stay to me come and lock it. But six o'clock now nah, catch him outside. <laughs> him work time done. I feel time not to go lock down. So I see him thing. Right. After six, your body kind of locked down to certain things. Right. That's why most of you that you eat is fruits in the night. We can break down. Uh, Any hard food from fruits and vegetables cannot break down. And starch. And crust. Because so most people. Yeah. Most people in the night them eat a fruit, a grape, a cherry, a banana, mm. strawberry. Those things. No hard food. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now Burger King, no McDonald's, no Popeyes, <laughs> no Wendy's, you name it. No fast food. Okay. I'm just okay. No fast food. Okay, so Hunter, she's asking. Again, I do not cut her yeah, yeah. Again, most people who, who take in herb tell them no yogurt, no milk, no cheese, no butter. That's good. While they're taking herb, you cannot take none of those dairy product stuff. That's good. All right, good. So now she knows what she needs. You were to saying something, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was just making sure I was looking at her comment and responding. I was gonna say, um, no starch, so no breads, nothing in the box, no white bread, nothing processed, fruits and vegetables. So no white potato, although potatoes natural, no white potato, no white rice, none of that. She also asked. No, no, no. The most brown rice then are whole wheat. Ah. I wouldn't even say quinoa. Something like quinoa or ground, uh, uh, another. It, all right, it named quinoa. Quinoa, that's what I eat. Yeah, them fine. Quinoa. It's really good. It tastes really better than rice, in my opinion. But no, uh, that uh, that we supposed to eat, yeah, yeah. But you know, in Jamaica, cause you living is high. Right. It's I'm very dear out here, yeah, yeah. But really and truly, is that human to really feed them? Right. Honestly, I'm telling you the truth. I eat it before. Yes, yeah, delicious. I buy it many times. It named quinoa. Quinoa. It's a form of Chinese rice, but it have a different protein to it to your body. Yeah, very good. It's very, very good. Emma, yeah, once you eat, you feel the difference, man. Oh, yeah. I, we eat it every day. We eat it here man, every single day. They grow it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish I could do I, I wish I could have been like you, yeah, yeah. How you mean? <laughs> I wish I could be like you, yeah, yeah. How you mean? How you mean? Eating quinoa every day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Soon come. Don't worry. Don't trouble yourself. Soon come. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I'm just mustering you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, look, um, our friend wants to know, Beatrice also wants to know, she says um, the green juice, she should make it herself, correct? And she said, you take it away. All yes. All it right. I'm going to tell her what she's going to do. She's going to go to the market. Right. She's gonna go to the grocery store and get all our green stuff and make it herself. She have to make that. Right. All right. I wish most of these persons have them number, them link me on Instagram. You know, I could more give them an outfit deed, but I can tell her and she understand. She have to buy our greens herself. Kian, all her. You can use all green foreign apple in your green juice also. You can use color, you can use spinach, you can use broccoli, you name it. But she'd have to do it for herself. That's the best way. Yeah, because you can mix vegetables and fruits together and make juice in a yeah, yeah. Mix the vegetable with the fruits, man. Yeah, man. That's good. But yeah, yeah. You're not a spirulina. If you don't spirulina, I could have got some Caribbean food at all. So I have, but... but the sea moss, we have the sea moss. So she can use that in her smoothie. Yeah, she can use that also. 
And we have that on our website, Beatrice. We sent you the link already, sweetie, where you can get the sea moths, the detox. I will start with those two items first for the cleansing part. Um, and what Hunter is saying, you're going to see a difference with it. Give yourself seven days. Give yourself seven days. Challenge Yeah, have to give yourself seven days. Yeah, yeah. Different. Seven days a month, you have to give yourself. At least seven days. Yeah, at least seven days. Hmm. Then you see a difference. Yeah. But again, let us tell them about the immune system powder in case anyone want to add a. Before you take the immune system powder, that's how, that's how I'm going to tell you how it works. Ah. When you take the tea, 30 minutes to 45 minutes before you eat anything. So you're taking the tea on an empty stomach. Okay. That's how it works. Okay. Empty stomach. So I'm, I'm just acknowledge everyone before they add and do not know how it goes. I'm telling them from now. We're going to be on the label also, but I'm just telling them from now. That's the okay. way how you take it. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, when you take herb on an empty system, the herb work better it does. than you have food in your system. It does. It does. Way better. So, Hunter, she wanted to yeah. show the first part of the, when we were talking about the sea moss. So, she wants to know what it's for because she missed the beginning when we talked about it. Do you mind sharing briefly again? Before we wrap up. Pardon me? Go ahead. I didn't hear you clearly. No for, no worries. Miss Beatrice missed the first part when we talked about sea moss and what it's good for. Do you mind sharing again the benefits of sea moss and what it does? All right. A 92 mineral out of 102 mineral. Sea moss have where your body need, you know. So do the math. No, it's true. 92 mineral out of 102 your body need. That's true. It say... It boosts your body in every way you can. Right. Because 92 mineral you get out of 102. Right. So you can drink it as porridge. You can use it as a smoothie. You can use it as a yogurt. You can eat it with your ice cream. Some people eat it that way. Some people eat it with yogurt also. Right. But me think the best way, smoothie, the coconut milk and you drink it. Mm -hmm. She can add a little thinking to in there, but if she chooses not to, she deal with it that way. But it boosts your whole entire body overall. It boosts your immune system. Yeah, it curves your appetite. It helps you to lose. And it opens your appetite also. Wait, go no. and, it, and again, who have knee problem like arthritis, a good for the ligament in your knee. It also build the ligament in your knee. That, yeah, that's true. Irish mash build the ligament in your knee. So right. who, some of us know what is ligament, some do not know. The ligament is a little, oh my God, I can't pronounce it. It's like a liquid stop from your two bones to touch together. So it, it is between it, it, your bone them. Mm, mm -hmm. That's called a ligament. It's a liquid. Sea mass also build back that ligament. Yes. That's why more that's why most people who feed in on the sea mass don't have a giant problem. Don't have no bone problem. That's true. That's true. It also helps to remineralize your teeth. So if the teeth that's been worn down through whatever, it helps to build your bones and your teeth. If you have your bone most naturally. Issues with thyroid, it helps to um, rebuild your thyroid. It helps to balance out feminine, your feminine energy. So if you have a long period or a heavy period, it can shorten it and regulate that as well. It helps with sleep, digestion. Yeah, it helps balance it. It helps balance it also. Yes, 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 yes. It's it's great for everything. Everybody needs to be on great for your nervous system. It's just really good. It's a very great nurture. No, but yeah, yeah, it's very great in a yeah, yeah, hmm. because I do. I really do a research last year and I check majority. No, but then the percentage of who been taking Irish mash for the past couple of years since now, the percentage gets higher than because enough people finding out the benefit of Irish mash recently. Right. So everybody, even now my son, most people know who me know. Ask me if we can get Irish mash for them because them see a lot. And it is very good. So each one I tell the next one. So them I recommend them. Mm. So the sea mass. 
Irish mash is very good for you and it builds your body, it builds your, your immune system also. Yes. You know? So when we really check it, I say, okay. So more enough people now realize, hey, we can't take Irish mash and we have to take certain things. Actually. Because it build. Yeah, because it gives vitamin, it gives mineral, it gives protein, it gives yeah. calcium. Right. So out of one thing, you, you so much I get out of one thing. Out of one thing. Plus, so all right. Plus Irish masha bill soap. We're good for your skin again. Rush and eczema. Again for the next hand. Say so much you sit have. Right. Yeah, that skin used to. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Irish mash work from inside to outside of your body. You know? It's good for vaginal dryness and lubrication. Mo Okay, but yeah, yeah, you, you've been doing the research. All right. You've been doing the research, yeah, yeah. You know what we are talking about. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But it seems like you have a fire on me, yeah, yeah. Oh, sir. Knowledge <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your knowledge always up. You're always, you're always searching. Yes. And that's how herb, herb let you search. You're supposed to. You're always wondering. It's a school. Yeah, it's a school and it's a journey. It's a journey. It's a teaching. I don't yeah, it's a journey. Right, right. Well, you cannot stop, Chad. You Never. always have to chat that journey. Never. Until you die before you stop. That's right. So listen, Hunter, So, um, Miss Patrice is also asking if it's um, kid-friendly. So to answer your question, absolutely, yes. I gave it to my one-year-old. So he's three. He still takes it. But she also says that She's only 44 years old and already have high blood pressure and arthritis in her neck and lower back. Talk about that. She's constantly in pain, back pain. So strong back would be good. She says her 14-year-old is borderline diabetic. What can I get? What can I get for that? Kids yeah. and this is probably gonna be the last question because we would have been on here for two hours. <laughs> no, no, come on, yeah, yeah. Let me buy all of my work. Yeah, yeah. Herb is my work, yeah, yeah. If I could spend, yeah, yeah, I wish I would spend the whole day sitting talking to people. Well, That's we can do all. it again. We can do it again for sure. I promise. But let's, I want to make it, we can definitely do it again. All right. No, yeah, yeah. Them diet have a lot to do. Yeah. Sometimes certain things, you change. Your system and move from that. Them, all right. So far as Samuel tell them, system tired of certain things. I do not know what they are eating, what they are doing, but them system is tired. Right. So your system tired, you're gonna lose diet of certain things. So I recommend them they might forget herb now where I boost them in them them system. Mm -hmm. So again them can go to them ginger, them turmeric also. And then start eating them CMOS. And then front them see everything changing in in no time. Yeah, CMOS, definitely. Me have, yeah, me have to recommend them to the highest thing. So me have to recommend them there. Turmeric and your ginger. And your CMOS. So as I tell you earlier on, we build an immune system. Right. Now this now I love that person who just send that message. I would love to give them this. Because I tell you earlier, and this opening your appetite. So if you do not have none, this opening. Also, Kalawala in it. The Kalawala is a farmer. System work. It work within your system. Mm. It loosens your body. It loosens certain things within your body. Mm. So that's why I put the, me put the music, three of them together mm. as a formula. So like that, that person who just takes her. I would recommend there are some of these. Yes. The immune system powder. Yes. If I and the CMOS. So I would recommend our the immune booster system powder and Irish mash. Okay. I would recommend that definitely for sure. I, those are wonderful recommendations. If I could chime yeah, in. You're going to need Irish mash, yeah, yeah. Me and you know that, yeah, yeah. She's going to need the Irish mash. Um, if I could chime in a little bit, because I'm looking at the neck pain and the back pain. Generally, when we see that, because you know, I got to tell you about the energy of it, love. I just can't tell you about the urge. I got to tell you about the energy. 
When we see it in our neck. So yeah, you can't stop. A herb, you look one, man. See them there, yeah, yeah. You're looking on her. You're looking on straight herb, yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how we live. That's how we like to live with our herbs. My herbs here with me today. But for her neck pain and her back pain, um, Ms. Beatrice, I, will, I would ask that you consider yourself, what are you carrying in your life that's too hard? What weights, what burdens? Maybe you've always grown up with a lot of responsibility. You could have been um, the oldest of all the children. You could have been taking care of a parent or a sick relative very young. You could have been on a caretaker role when you were too young or had too much responsibility or currently have responsibility. There, there's some energies that you're holding on to that your spirit is asking you to release because where you're going now, that no longer serves you. So the pain that you may be feeling in your body, it may be required that you do some emotional releasing as well. And we talked about emotional release and weight gain. So the pain where exactly where you're having, the, the back deals with your foundation. The back deals with how you can carry the world. Your neck deals with um, being able to turn directions to be able to see everything and some of impeding that. So when we can get to that energy, in addition to the herbs, put such a rapid fire transformation that it will change your life. This is why I said the consultations are important because we need to look at the energy to match it up with the herbs to give you a more holistic healing experience, not just for you, but for your baby. So if your daughter is pre-diabetic. She's also craving something sweet in her life, a sweeter experience. She may be needing more attention, more affection, and not saying you're not doing the best you can. That's not what we're saying. But the society that we're living in can be very challenging for our youth to have their emotional needs met. And from when I see this in children, I know some of their emotional needs are not being met. This is why we have community. Because mom can't do everything. Dad can't do everything. So you have auntie, you come to Mexico, you come to Jamaica. We're having a retreat in Jamaica um, in June, in June um, the 11th to the 18th, the Ascension of Life with my sister. Tisha, we're having a retreat there. Come and be surrounded in the energy to help to raise your body's vibration. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you see, okay, I'm looking at your comments. You how do I release them? You need to get a consultation. <laughs> we need to get into the bloodline because it could be something in your bloodline that you're bloodline. Can, but it may be something. Yes, that yeah, yeah. Everything that you are telling them, you're hundred percent right. Bloodline got nothing to do with you, but you're being impacted. But while work, we get you to that bloodline work so you can be free, you can be healed, and you can be whole. You and your daughter and everybody else. Most naturally, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, them have to... All right, we have to eat ourselves, you know. We have to. The Almighty give us knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Yeah, man. It's just we, we have to use it. Mm. And again, we have to free ourselves, free our heart, our mind, our soul, and our body from certain things. Come yeah, on. It might, we know it hard, but we have to try and we have to do, do it. Because as early on as what Yaya said, energy do a lot. Energy is a lot. Because others draw others' energy. Others draw other energy from enough things. Right. All right. If your mind and your body do not stay a certain way, you can't go around certain herb. The herb draw them. That's true. That's true. I want you to tell them in a yeah, yeah. I want to let them know, you know, if your energy is not right, mm. certain herb you cannot take neither. I want That's people to know this one. That's very If true. your energy is not right, certain way you cannot take certain herb, you will feel certain pain. Yes. Your That's energy have to clean and right. Right. Because remember, the herb is natural, you know. Right. It's not contaminated, you know. Right. It's true. Yes, so remember, you know, yeah, yeah. Me and you know, it's enough herb travel with the spirit, you know. Good spirit and bad spirit, you know. Oh, yes. Not true. Yeah, herb, herb is a spirit, you know. That's why I notice as when you drink a herb tea, or oh, your body feels different. That's the spirit it gives. Spirit of the herb, right? Give you a dip. Yes. Right. If you drink one or so as a leaf tea, different meditation you have. Different. It's a spirit that it brings something different towards your body inside. Yes, yes, yes. So with herb, I want enough people to know. Herb come off of your energy. Off of your energy. 
you within yourself. Herb work with your energy. All right, someone there and I say, oh, me now uplift from, uh, you, you want around this alone, me see ya. Are your energy, why? Why? A truth. You have to change that energy if you can see yourself. Right. Moving forward. Right. Just be like a baby who wants something if him not get up for coffee, him can't get it. Right. He can't reach it. Right. But it's the same thing, people, so that you have to... Your spirit, your, your, your self within after does clean. Yes. And everything come on. Now. Herba, herba, a spirit. Spiritual yeah. thing. Yeah, you have it. You know, it, it, it brings different things to your body. It brings life to you. Yes. Then let me put it this way. It brings life. Every herb where it bring life to you. Actually. If you'd have one, it put more fire. So it does a count up. Right. That's true. Yeah, but look, all right, for instance, yeah, yeah, you have some older people. You look, them look different, where you think, or they deal with themselves. Mm. Them spirit is different. That's true. Them energy is different. So them are going to look a lot different. People are going to say a lot of things, say, oh, they, oh, wow, they look different. Yes. Yes, because the looks is approved to you. You are seen. Right. So you really are going to say, them look good, because it's showing to you. Right. Right. Yeah, because, all right, recently I went on the road, yeah, yeah, seen a lady. What a, what a coincidence. My friend asked her, asked it, is a big woman, is a elder woman. But you know, we're working there. I think she's one of the ones. Secretary or, I think it's about some family member. But yeah, yeah, you can look at the woman and see something different. So that person is using some type of herb. Uh -huh. Directly, the woman's skin, body, everything look different for your old. Not really so old, but you can't say she's not 50, but she do not look like a 50 at the old. Right. Can you tell me what type of early lady been using, yeah, yeah? Tell me. Can you guess? Can I guess? Yeah, just guess. Aloe vera. No. Sea moss. No. Bissy, ah, oh, no, no bissy bear. Um... Vervain, blue vervain. No, castor oil. The what? woman been using how much? Yeah, yeah, if you see the woman's skin, you can't believe. Wow. Woman, so she be with straight natural. Wow. So the woman she... made herself when she young, she used castor oil. On Lotion on her skin. Her skin, wow. If you see the woman's skin, you couldn't believe, man. Wow, wow, wow. We have to ask her, at all. We stand up and look away and say, no, man. We never see a human skin looks up. We know so she must have taken some natural herb. Yes. You know it. Yeah, when we ask her, she said that she took. Ain't that so? Because you can't drink castor oil too, you know. Yeah. We castor oil help clean you out. One teaspoon night clean you out. Just as meringue seed clean yeah. you out too. That's another one. Yes. Yes, meringue seed is no joke. All right. We in Jamaica, yeah, yeah. We just pick the meringue off a tree and eat tree seed. Woo! Yeah. And tree seed make you want, you got the bathroom all five times a day. Just tree seed. It is too much. It's true. I can't made, take tree seed. I want you to take. One. I made a mistake. Remember I told you I made a mistake and I had two. Same way. <laughs> so hunt a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't know, yeah, yeah. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you told me about it, yeah, yeah. You told me, I said, damn, yeah, yeah. Oui. I think you didn't know. You sh it was my fault, yeah, yeah. I be the one should be, should no. have told you That's right. that you shouldn't have taken three. One is the, two is the most, yeah, yeah. That's how I learned. Three is overdose. Three is too strong. You gotta learn, right? This is learning. That's true. That's true. You got to learn, yeah, yeah. And you know in Jamaica we know them a foreign, you see them call it cayenne pepper. Oh yes. See there, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you. Oh, we can't see it. You're not gonna see it, it is small. We just we just pick one and, and buy it and show it in our mouth and drink water. Woo! That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, but that pepper them say help cancer cell out of your body. True. 
too. But and we call it bird pepper. Bird but pepper. them overseas, them call it cayenne pepper. Right. You know, it will stop heart attacks too. It will stop a heart attack in its um, track. If someone's having a heart attack, they can chew the pepper or do the um, cayenne tincture. And if they're having a heart attack in that moment, it will stop the heart attack. So cayenne is very powerful. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Didn't know about the heart attack part. Yes, someone having a heart attack, you give them some a cayenne pepper to chew, or you just give them some of the tincture of it as well. Okay, and it will stop it. It will stop the heart attack right there. Yeah. Well, that, well, it's a great day. I, I'm just looking out on the tree blowing. But yeah, yeah, now it's manga time. And, hey, yeah, yeah. Come on, see what's good for man there, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you know that ripe banana skin good for you? How do you like to use it? Anyway, if you have pain. All right. What's he? Mm -hmm. All right. This ripe banana good for man, you know? It should be. Yeah. Should yeah, ripe banana, most of all, yeah, good for man. Good. So you make All right, the ripe banana skin. Yeah, this good for if you have muscle pain, if you get cut, or if you have joint, you got to tie the banana skin anywhere you feel the pain. Mm. Until the banana skin get black, yes, before you move the banana skin. Okay. Yeah, I know, man. Because it's going to get black. The banana skin will get black. There you go. You know, say so it draw it, I, I'll, it draw it everything out of your foot now because it get black. So you can take it off and dash it away. Ain't that something? What? Yes, any spraying, any pain, any cut. Wow. So you know what? Because we throw our banana skins away all the time. People don't even think that this is medicine. You, I can actually take this and I blend it up in a blender and I put it on my plants because it helps to be a fertilizer. The skin, I just cut it up and put it in a blender and put the juice of that in my plants to fertilize my flowers and my plants. But the putting it on the skin to draw out pain, it's amazing because people usually just throw the banana skins away. Yeah, me do my research and do it. Yeah, yeah. It is good. Me do it already and it works. Wonderful. There we go. Wow. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, it works. But it get black. Mm. It get black. Thank you. Anytime it black, then you can remove it from the surface. And then the pain is gone. Just like that. Once it get black, everything draws out. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me that this can remove pain from the body. You see how yes. Right, it, banana is, is vitamin one. I, I think it's C. And it's almost like a, a band aid. It's, it's, you know, like it's wide enough to go over the skin. That's how intelligent nature is. It's wide enough just to sit on an area. Wide enough. Thank you very much. I'm glad you understand. Just like that. That's so good. I'm amazed every it, day. It can. Every day. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. The right banana also makes soap too. You know, the right banana skin yeah, yeah. also makes soap. I want to do yes, some for your skin. I want to do some videos where we can do some facials. Like we can make some fruit facial. There's some fruit that I use here and I put on my skin. Maybe one day we'll do some uh, some skincare uh, using fruits and vegetables and herbs. That's fruit and vegetable. Yes, you can use papa. Right now we have avocado soap yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I may have aloe vera soap also mm. right now, as we speak. Well, we got to get some of those pictures up and I'll put them up so people can uh, order the soap. You can order the soap. That's Most naturally, yeah, yeah. Well, today, who want yeah, yeah, can order. I can put in, the last time I give you, you know, you know about it. Yes. Marijuana soap. I'm going to make some marijuana soap today. Ooh, wait, 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 but save that because I want to talk about that the next time. I don't want to spill all oh, of it. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. We've been out here for about two hours, so I don't want to give it all away in this time. I want us to come back on and we're going to talk about that. Oh. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say anything more, yeah. I'm not going to say anything about the marijuana, yeah, yeah. Hold it. <laughs> when we reach to that, we'll talk about that one. Yes. But anyway, I'm going to make some soap tonight. I have some marijuana. I'm going to make soap. All right, we're going to talk about it. You know, we make marijuana, so. All right, we're going to talk Everything about Everything makes soap water. Sounds good. Miss Sania says she's going to put um, 
that's what banana peel was used for. Miss Sania, we just put it on the skin for pain. And when the banana peel turns... Yeah, and our any bruise. Or a sprain. Or a sprain. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Say, all right. You know, you don't get a bruise or a chip off. You get a sprain. Or you feel any pain somewhere. Yeah, you just tie the banana right where you're feeling the pain. Until it get black before you remove the banana. Ah, okay. Sounds good. And it's the right banana I'm talking, not green banana. Right, right, right. So Green, like the green banana is for a different purpose. So we're talking about this banana. Just for the clarification. Yes, clarification. right banana. This banana. Yeah. All right. Green banana is something else, family. That's something totally ugly. We're talking about regular bananas we can find in the States, all over the world, bananas. Um, so Miss Beatrice wants to know about the marijuana soap, but Miss Beatrice, you have to stay tuned because we're going to talk about the marijuana soap, but not in this episode. So come back again, and maybe if Mr. Hunter, Uncle Hunter, and I have time this week, we can get <laughs> Hunter. Um, you just name it, yeah, yeah. I always have time for my herb, yeah, yeah. Just name it. Soaps, and we're going to talk more about herbs, how we can use herbs differently for our healing and support our well-being of our families. But it's been a lot. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, everyone. I want to thank everybody for joining us. It's been a, a, a hot live. This has been an amazing live. Uh, thank you, Hunter, for spreading your wisdom and your knowledge. And You're wisdom. welcome, yeah, yeah. And I thank everyone for listening in to a program. Hey, we couldn't do it without without any right. people. Couldn't do, do it without. Right. Oh, so we love you so much. Don't forget to check us out. We love you so right. much. Check. We send we heart out to yes. heart all our tuna people. God bless you all. Bless you all. We love you. We appreciate. We're here for you. Uh, Hurricane Ida didn't take everything away. It didn't take out take away our hope. It didn't take away our, 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 our spirit. So we're we we're, we are rebuilding the tribe after the hurricane took it basically everything. But we're we begin a new we believe in new beginnings. We are the new beginnings. We are the beginnings of our ancestors. And so we're here, we're live, we're strong, um, and we're loving ourselves, and we, we're thankful for the opportunity to love on you as well. Which is right, yeah, yeah, 100%. But yeah, yeah, I do not cut you. No, oh, sir. Someone, someone asked me recently, the other day, do marijuana can make soap? Who? I said, yes. Marijuana have its own oil in it. Yes. Also the same. And if someone know, oh, great. Marijuana is the highest cannabis in the world. You have more cannabis. You know that, yeah, yeah. Right. Marijuana is the highest. Wow. Let's talk so about that next I'm going to show them the marijuana before I met the soul. The marijuana can make soap. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, let's, let's, well, let's do that. Let's do that. They'll love to see that process if you're willing to share. So um, we'll do that next time, Hunter. We'll organize that. We'll do yeah, that. that's okay. We'll do that next time. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, once again, for joining us. Thank you, Hunter. I appreciate you so much. I enjoy your presence as, all, as always. And thank you. I appreciate you more, Yaya. I received that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you received that, Yaya. All that love. Thank you. You're a blessing, Yaya. So, thank you. You're a blessing. Thank you. So are you. Every time. Love you. Talk to you soon. Same to you, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Love you always. Bye-bye, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.